Good morning and welcome to Cincy Lifestyle on this Friday, which Mona, as we love to point out, is also for us <laughs> payday. Good morning to you. It well, good morning to you too, Clyde. You know what? It is payday, but we are so glad. We were having so much fun, and I just can't stop laughing even before the show. So I'm glad our viewers now can get in on the fun. We've got a great show for everybody. <laughs> yeah, we yeah we really do. <laughs> Mona, I have a question for you. Uh, you, you. You know what it's like outside. You you probably have spent a little time out in the weather. So let me ask you, in weather like this, or not even quite as cold as this, would you put on a swimming suit and go diving into 32 degree water? You lost me. I put on a swimming suit. Because, <laughs> and that would, I'd, be, I'd be cold in my house in a swimming suit. So no, the answer is absolutely not. Now I ask this because I want to show you something. You're going to see a, okay. a, a Russian woman. Her name is Yekaterina Nekrasova, who is going wow, free fine. swimming. Well, <laughs> free swimming under Lake Baikal in Siberia. Uh, Siberia rather we, earlier this month she is in the process of we believe setting a new world record she held her breath and free dove covering 279 feet under the ice in Lake Baikal 279 feet and uh, that is a record for women who are free diving free diving of course means no air tank no fins and no uh, no scuba suit. She was in a bathing suit. All right, Clyde. You know my my first question is how's her mental health? <laughs> um, I think they need to check that. Right. <laughs> And you know what? She hits like one of my biggest fears, which is of drowning. Right. I can't even imagine doing something like that. You know what? I, I swam every summer when I was growing up. And let me put them in air quotes. Swam every <laughs> summer when I was growing up at Kennedy Pool and <laughs> Kennedy Heights. But I didn't really learn to swim until I took a class at Walnut Hill. So, so I mean, I, I don't know. This is just not something I would ever do. And I didn't. When I was looking at it, Clyde, and I looked at it, I was freezing. So if anyone wants to go online and take a look at that, wear a coat and then look at it. Well, uh, the, first of all, so you know, even though she was under the ice uh, during that swim, they had cut in rescue holes in the event she could not hold her breath that long. But you are talking about swimming the length of about three quarters of an NFL football field on one breath in 32 degree waters. Uh, I, I, uh, he, he, I was going to fake a quote that said, I can't wait to dive in and break my own record, but she didn't say that, so I'll, I'll, I'll just stop. Oh, oh, my goodness. Uh, you know what? That is, um, that's interesting, but you know what? People do a lot of things to get in that Guinness Book of World Records, and I can't think of anything that probably I would be able to do to get in that book, Clyde. Uh, that makes two of us, Mona. That makes two of us. I can think of some things I'd do, but we can't talk about them on TV. <laughs> okay. Well, then we're going to move on, Clyde. Let's do it's, it. A, <laughs> it's assisted living that feels like home. Join us as we take a visit to the newest Bright Star Senior Living Community in the heart of Mason to uncover all its amenities and why you may want to consider it for yourself or a loved one. We are an assisted living and memory care community located here in Mason. Um, we provide services for seniors in the area that need either physical assistance or assistance um, with their daily activities or they have memory care issues and need just assistance throughout the day. It's, assisted living is really more of a home-like environment than a lot of nursing home or other facilities that, you, that are around the area. So it gives them the autonomy to have their own apartment, their own suite, bring in their own furniture, make it their own home, but yet have someone that can help them or guide them throughout the day. So it really is an in-between for what, what people need. Because of our low staff to resident ratio, we're able to let people age in place and stay here longer than they could in some other assisted living communities. So we can care for those people that have complex care needs. One of the great things about Bright Star is that our memory care neighborhood and our assisted living neighborhood are so similar that you don't even realize you're in a memory care area or you're in the assisted living area. They're all the same. So it really is great for couples 
who one person needs more physical assistance, the other person needs more cognitive assistance, or for someone who might not need to be in our memory care uh, neighborhood yet, could move into our assisted living area, and then as their disease or their needs progress, could move into our memory care neighborhood. So it's nice to have those different levels and different areas that really cater to what people need. Um, you know, the decision moving into an assisted living community is so hard. It's so hard for people to leave their homes. It's hard for them. They feel like they're going to lose that independence that they have. But once you come into the community, you see your own suite or apartment, you see the feel and the common areas. It really is so much like just moving into a larger home with your own private area. So with all the activities going on and all the different people around, we really see people come back to life. So it really is self-sustainable. So you could have anything that you need while you're here at Bright Star. We really try and make sure that we can meet all of their accommodations. Um, we promise that we are going to do everything that we can to bring joy into your life every day, to treat you with dignity and respect, to try and make a personal connection with you every day and to treat you as, as an individual, as your own person. So our goal is every day to keep those promises with you, with your family, with the associates, and all day, all day long, and it's just amazing. And if you'd like to find out more about Bright Star Senior Living in Mason, give them a call at 513 seven seven zero one seven seven eight or you can visit them online at brightstarseniorliving.com Clyde all right Mona thanks a lot fans of the show one tree hill are gonna love what we've got coming up for you now a few familiar faces from that show turn up in a new series called everyone is doing great an Ohio native helped create that series and Hulu just picked it up Everybody's happy about that. To tell us more, want to welcome Roke Trim and Johnny Durango, the executive producers behind Everyone is Doing Great. Gentlemen, thank you so much for talking to us today. Good morning, Clyde. Thank you. Good morning. Johnny, we'll start with you. Can you tell us about the premise of Everyone is Doing Great and how long this has been in the works? Sure. Uh, so Everyone is Doing Great tells the story of Seth and Jeremy, two friends who enjoyed the success of a hit vampire TV drama called Eternal. And five years later, we find the guys leaning on each other as they awkwardly navigate the perils of life and love in a late coming of age. And this, this show, is, it's so special to us because it, it really is truly just a bunch of friends who got together to make something they really believed in. And we got it all the way to the finish line. Okay, uh, so Johnny, can, can you share with us a little bit uh, about how this show just got picked up by Hulu? Uh, and, and what did you feel when that happened? It was absolutely incredible. You know, heading into a pandemic, we had no idea what was going to what was, what was going to happen with the show because we had shot all eight episodes. They were in the can, and you never know with something like this. We've never experienced anything like it. But it was just incredible. With a slowdown in production, networks were looking for more content, and we were ready to go. All right. So, uh, Roke, the timing of the show's release could not have been uh, any better, <laughs> given what we just heard about, right? Oh, it couldn't have been any better, right? <laughs> what a year to be doing great. Well, that well, that's cool. So, so what what was it like? I, I know Ro, uh, Johnny and I had the conversation before the show that it it's better to be both good and lucky to be either than to be <laughs> either good or lucky. Is that how you view it? It uh, you know what you you like I tell my family you create your own luck. I mean, when I, I got involved with this group, uh, it was a, it was a one in a million to get something like this done. But we kept pushing forward, pushing forward. And uh, we believe in the uh, product, and it really doesn't matter how you get there as long as you get there. And now uh, we're on Hulu, and everyone gets a chance to enjoy the show, hopefully. So, Rogue, do you have a favorite part uh, of the episodes that have, aired, that have aired so far? <laughs> well, the legendary pillow scene for a lot of reasons. Uh, I don't know if anyone's watched it yet, but uh, it's, uh, it's quite uh, it's memorable. <laughs> uh, and I gather it's not safe for work <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to talk about. It's a little bit, it's a little bit adult. Yeah, don't <laughs> make sure you you uh, you uh, watch it with with the grownups. Okay, got it. So Johnny, right quick, if people want to watch the show, how can they do that? How can they connect with it? You can binge the whole series right now on Hulu. It's been up since January 13th, and people are loving it. 
All right, all right. Well, congratulations, gentlemen, and uh, congratulations on both your luck and your talent. Thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. And now coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle for a Super Bowl that will be like no other, we need a unique talent to show fans how to party. Uh, this reality husband and former pro football player will show super fans how to get ready for the big game. And here's your Cincy Lifestyle calendar. Be sure to stay safe, mask up, and distance when you enjoy events. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, I'm Casey Mason here with MorningSave.com lifestyle expert Callie Moore with our early bird bargains. Hey Casey, I've got some great products that will save you money. All right, first are the two pack Mophie Power Station 8000 MAH 3A power banks. Now this deal includes two power banks that dramatically improve the battery life of your USB-C and USB-A devices. It's perfect for traveling and it pairs with smartphones, tablets, and more. And what's our savings? Well, this usually costs up to $100, but at Morning Save we have two for $19. That's an 81% savings. Next is the Addison Parker Extended Turtleneck with Face Mask Ear Loops. Now this face covering doubles as a preventative for spreading germs while the shirt is cozy and comfortable. Just pull the turtleneck up and over your mouth and nose and use the ear loops to secure it in place. And it's available in five color options as well. What's our deal, Callie? It sure is. Now this sells for as much as $68, but morning save, it's only $24. That's a 65% discount. Next is the Aduro Ustream Social Media and Telework Conference Lighting. Now this ring light offers three lighting options and it's USB powered. The non-slip grip holds your phone in place while streaming or taking a selfie. Okay, so this is perfect for all of those Zoom meetings we've been having lately. What's our deal? Uh, yes, Casey. Now this sells for up to $80, but Morning Save has this for only $25, saving us 69%. And finally, we have the two-pack Blue View Blue Light Blocking Glasses. Blue light can cause eye strain and sleep deprivation but these glasses filter nearly 80% of the most damaging blue light and HEV light from your eyes. So many of us are glued to our phones and computer screens. This is a stylish way to protect your eyes. So true. And what do we save, Callie? Well, this is normally as high as $50, but at MorningSave.com, you get two for $19, saving you 62%. All right, Callie, thanks for these great early bird bargains. Be sure to head to MorningSave.com for these and other exclusive deals. All products are shipped directly from a U.S. warehouse. Well, a Super Bowl Sunday like no other in history is coming soon, so it's time to start planning for the big game. And this year we're getting some help from former NFL linebacker and reality show star Croy Bierman. Croy, thank you so much for joining us and tell us why this big game party is different than in past years. Hello, hello, and thanks for having me. You know, I loved playing football as a defensive end and linebacker in the NFL for eight years. And you may have seen us on, on our recent reality series, Don't Be Tardy on Bravo, uh, preparing for those big games and just enjoying football in general. And nothing's better than watching uh, the game with your family and, and having fun, even if things are different this year. You're absolutely right. And so where do we start when preparing for the big game? I think... That's a great question. A great start is to have awesome food and good snacks. My go-to snack is pistachios. They're a healthy option full of awesome nutrients and antioxidants. They kind of help appease my conscience and stick to my healthy New Year's resolutions. And as a pro athlete, I ate them because of the great source of protein and it helped aid in recovery. Uh, you can eat them right out of the bag or put them on some delicious skirt steak and chicken tacos with a mango pistachio slaw. Uh, or something sweet would be like chocolate chip uh, pistachio bark. Head over to AmericanPistachioGrowers.org uh, to get great recipes there. All right, so talk a little bit about some unique snacks that maybe we haven't tried before. That's a great question. Barnana, uh, our friends there, have, have done a great job with a plant taco. Uh, all you have to do is grab a bag of their, their salty, crunchy plantain chips made with just three ingredients, organic plantains, organic coconut oil, and Himalayan pink sea salt. Pile on some chorizo mole, grab a fork, and just dig in and enjoy those, those chips. Right now, they're 20% off and free two-day shipping at Barnana.com until February 7th. Uh, so head over there, grab some uh, chips and, and great recipes there, too. All right, Croy, do you have any other big game tips for us? I sure do. If you want to enjoy the game itself, you've got to watch it on the biggest and best TV. Uh, best Buy right now is offering the Samsung 65-inch QLED 4K UHD Smart TV. Uh, it's 
got quantum HDR, which really enhances the color and makes that detail so vivid. It's like watching the game from the field. Uh, you can head, head over there, uh, get it for $200 off or about $1,100 uh, at bestbuy.com or Best Buy stores. All right, Croy, tell us um, one more tip for game day fun. Of of course, I love firing up that grill and making some hamburgers and hot wings. The hotter, the better. Sometimes they don't always agree with that stomach, so I keep my Tums and Tums Chewy Bites right next to me. They're also doing a fun big game within the big game called the Bingo Sweepstakes for rewarding fans with heartburn-inducing moments on and off the field. You can head over to TumsworthyBingo.com beginning February 1st to get yourself a bingo board uh, during the game. Follow along, fill out a bingo, and you can have a chance to win up to $55,000 in prizes. All right, I know a little bit about those Tums. And hey, quickly, who's going to win? Well, I'm, I'm not going to pick anybody. I just want a nice competitive game. Hopefully those defenses show up, give us some big hits and exciting things to watch and, and uh, just make it a great overall game. Head over to tipsontv.com to get all these tips and more. We appreciate you, Croy. Thanks for spending some time with us. Clyde? Thank well you. Well, Mona, right now we want to throw it back to a favorite segment of ours, back when we had warm weather and cool tunes. This is singer-songwriter Ryan Fine. What are you doing in, in COVID-19 times to keep yourself busy as a musician? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, times right now are very weird, foreign times, like you said. And uh, as soon as it happened, um, I lost all of my regular work playing as a performing musician. And uh, I was pretty freaked out by it. And I just was working out some ideas uh, with my roommate. Like, what can I do? Like, this is such a weird time to be a musician. So um, we kind of put our heads together and I've been writing custom songs for people I just kind of put out on social media hey uh, if you want a song like I'll write it for 50 bucks and uh, I got a few clients and then someone at a news station in Nashville um, caught word of what I was doing and uh, I named it fine-tuned custom songs and got a really awesome um, report on what I was doing a great interview and feature and uh, since the start of COVID, I've written 150 custom songs. Goodness, that's, um, that's I've a, been writing a ton. A lot. It's been keeping me safe yeah. um, from other people, but also working on my craft and uh, making new fans along the way. Like some people heard about what I was doing by just knowing my music on Spotify and been like, oh, he's doing custom songs and vice versa. People getting custom songs, been like, what else are you doing? And they're seeing that I'm putting an EP out. So um, I'm very grateful to have gotten the work. It's a blast for me to make people feel special and uh, I'm gonna continue doing it even if performance work picks up. Um, you mentioned Nashville. Uh, we should explain to our listeners that you are a Cincinnati native, born right. and raised Cincinnati. Uh, you're a CCM graduate, uh, so you are a UC alma mater as well. Um, and then uh, you kind of graduated from CCM into Nashville. Yeah. Tell me about that transition from Cincinnati to Nashville. Well, Nashville has been on my radar um, for a long time because Ben Fold's a giant influence to me. I love his music, and I love that he um, made a pop career out of a, a country town. And I love my family, and I love Cincinnati. Didn't want to be too far away. Uh, so C Nashville seemed like a great place to be, um, especially on the emphasis of songwriting rather than just having big songs, just kind of working on lyrics and telling a story. So... I think the day after I graduated, I moved to Nashville uh, and interned at a recording studio just so I could make some connections. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the EP then as we segue into that. It right. is, like I said, it's sort of like a concept EP because it takes you through the story of almost of failed relationships. Yeah, right. that's correct. Exactly. Square One was literally an idea that I had the same night as just a horrible date I went on. <laughs> and I was like, wow, she has a nice house. You know, I drove up, picked her up, and she's like, bye, Mom. And I was like, oh, I get it. And I was like, not to knock you if you're uh, you know, living with your parents. That's a great way to save money. But 
Um, that was just the first red flag, one of many. On the car ride to the date, she was talking about her ex the whole time. And I literally was like, do you think you're ready to be dating again? And she's like, oh, yeah, for sure. Then we get to the restaurant. She's complaining about the food. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, tough crowd, you know? Um, and then just kind of that relatability of people talking about it with my friends. And then they immediately had a story, like, similar. Just like, man, like, why is it so hard to date? And uh, I think it's a really fun way to poke fun at figuring out who who's compatible with you until you just finally find that one. If more people want to find more about you and more about these songs. I would say my website, ryanfine.com, is very easy. But if you're a, a cool cat, find me on Instagram, ryan underscore fine. Okay. And uh, that's on this EP's on Spotify. Everything, yeah. Apple Spotify, music. Apple Music, Amazon Music. And yeah, yeah, pretty much I, most yeah. places you can buy music, it's there. Uh, that's right. And uh, if people want to uh, get a custom song made, how would they do that? Great question. That's also on ryanfine.com under the Custom Songs tab. Great. Well, Super easy. Sounds like ryanfine.com will get you anywhere you need to go if you want to get more from Ryan Fine um, or hear the pop versions of these on the EP. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, thanks for coming in and joining me on this uh Pretty hot, hot summer day outside at the Northside Yacht Club. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, Ryan. Hey, expect a little more sun in the sky as the day wears on. High pressure rolls through, meaning enjoy it while you can. It's going to warm all the way up to freezing today, so you can go dive into Lake Baikal. Coming up next week here on Cincy Lifestyle, we'll meet a licensed massage therapist who is helping change lives. The woman behind Perfect Touch Helps Massage will tell us why she switched careers and how she's keeping clients safe and relaxed. We've got all that whole lot more happening next week here on Cincy Lifestyle. Mona, have a great weekend. Get out there and enjoy enjoy things. That is Cincy Lifestyle for this Friday, January the 29th. We appreciate you checking in with us. Hope you make it a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, be sure to make it a great day.